Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words Foolish Burial. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to insult anybody, no, 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 not at all. I don't want mean to be offensive, but it's just a foolish burial. Now, I'm reading the, 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 the parable of the talents, you know, the rich man who gave talents to uh, his people, you know, for some he gave uh, certain quantums, you know. But then I was fixated by, by one man to whom he gave the least. That means, I mean, he, he, did it, he just gave something small. And of course, the pers what he's expecting that the person's harvest should not be really be big. So the, the good man's expectation or the, the, the owner's expectation was that you, I know your capabilities. I know what you're capable of doing. So you just have the small and do something with it. Bible says when he came back, the first person he gave said, listen, I've doubled it. And he said, well, wow, well done, good and faithful servant. Ask the second person. He said, oh, I've doubled it. He said, wow, well done, good and faithful servant. But the third person to whom he just gave one talent, look at his answer when he was called. He said, Lord, you know, I know you are a hard man. That means you are a terrible man. You are an unreasonable man. You are a man who doesn't think about the welfare of others. You are a man with unnecessary high expectations of other people. You are a man with, with, with un, unreasonable uh, expectations. You are a man too, too difficult. And he said to him, listen, I mean, um, you are a hard man. And then he even went on and said, you reap where you have not sown. Wow! The money that he gave, the capital that he gave was his. So the seed was his. So if the seed was his, he's entitled to the harvest. But the, but the man said, you reap where you have not so you are a hard man, let me unreasonable, hard, you get it, um, unprincipled, you, you are a rough person, you are a crook, you are this, you are that, you reap where you have not so the man, the seed belongs to him. He gave the seed. And then he said, knowing this, I was afraid of you. I was afraid of you, so I hid my talent so that when you come, I'll give you back my talent. He buried his talent. He buried the seed he had been given. He buried it out of fear. Instead of trading with it, instead of doing something with it, instead of going the, using that seed to uh, uh, seed it and then let there be a harvest well, like the others have done. Not much. You are not expected to, to reap a harvest like the others. No, just what you are capable of. He said, and I was afraid of you. His fear made him bury treasures. His fear made him do a foolish funeral service, burial. He buried that treasure. He, 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 he did the wrong thing with it. No investment policy, no, no distance, no sense of increase, no nothing, nothing, just out of fear. Fear prevented him from stepping out. Do you know what your fear will do to you? Your fear will make you do crazy things. And your fear will make you move into the foolish ventures. And your fear is going to, make, is going to remove the, 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 the specter for reasoning. The fear, the fear is going to drive you to unreasonable positions. You won't even reason properly. The seed belongs to the man. So he has given you a seed. Plant it. Invest it. When it comes, even if you don't, whatever you get out, even if it is one, give it back to him. And say, well, I did this with you because of the time value of money. Time value of money. So he, 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 just, he just took the distance and says, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just returning it to you just like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Based on his own words, the good man then judged him and said, if you know I'm a hard man, if you know this is who I am, then you should have thought twice. And say, if this man is unreasonable, he's not going to listen to my reason for the burial of his treasures. What an unnecessary burial. Because of fear. His fear drove him.
to unreasonable acts and to, to acts that were stupid. And in the end, he paid a price for it. Come on, let's not engage in this kind of foolish burial. Let's not, let's not be, you see, don't, don't walk in the power of assumption. He was assuming for, for the man, for, 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 the, for his boss. Don't walk in those assumptions. And he said, I know you. You don't know him. You don't know him. There's an unpredictability around him. You don't know him. But he said, I know you. You are a hard man. Is that so? And so he resorted to foolishness. In the end, the price of that foolish burial was his life. Choices are always yours. Don't get involved in a foolish burial.